السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل جنو وائس اسٹڈی اف یو ار نیو آن مائی چینل پلیز سبسکرائب اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن سو یو ول گیٹ دا نوٹیفیکیشن اف آل دا نیو ویڈیوز بٹ ڈونٹ فرگیٹ ٹو لائک دی ویڈیو ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین کیلکولیٹ आवर ایکسپریشن ڈیٹا تھرو ڈیلٹا ڈیلٹا سی ٹی میتھڈ بیکاز اٹ از ویری امپورٹنٹ میتھڈ اف کیلکولیٹنگ دی ایکسپریشن اف आवर جین سو ڈیلٹا ڈیلٹا سی ٹی میتھڈ کین بی ڈیفائنڈ ایز the method that is used in order to calculate the relative fold gene expression of a sample when performing the real time polymerase chain reaction it give us the expression in term of fold change that how uh, much fold change our gene express in com- as compared to the other gene or as compared to the stress or treatment or like this how we can calculate let's start so this is our data ct data that we have got from after the qpcr these are the wells and this is the ct value or q q value that we have got from the qpcr so i have named it that this is the uh, my gene dat ct values and one is the control and these this is the treatment one and this one is a treatment two where this is the actin or internal control and this the these are the samples here i find that sample and here are the genes so these are the sample one is control another one is treatment one another one is treatment two or you can say uh, or if you have line one line two line three how uh, in t- your sample in term of which condition you have are you have the different organ samples like uh, uh, root stem leaf whatsoever you have and this one uh, uh, my gene and this one is the actin and these are the ct values so how we can calculate this expression through these ct values through delta delta method that first we have to calculate the delta ct so here in sample we find the delta symbol insert and close and this is the ct that delta ct is equal to that one is the gene ct value minus actin or internal control that you are using ct value so first it is better to insert another column and place the ct value in front of that gene ct value so the but it, it must be sure that your ct value of control must be in front of in control ct value of the gene and the treatment one must be in front of treatment one and the treatment two must be in front of treatment two now you can calculate it minus it is equal to the ct value of the gene minus ct value of the actin and then drag it now we need to calculate the delta delta ct value means so delta delta ct value is equal to the gene ct value or the sample ct value or delta uh, you can say delta ct value that is the delta ct value minus control average control average delta ct value it means that we have the delta ct value this one but we didn't have the control average delta ct value so first we need to ca- calculate the control average of delta ct that is this is our control sample these are our control sample so we can we will highlight it into another color 
so we need the average of this delta ct so is equal to average and take the, these three values of control so now here we must minus these values so is equal to the actin value minus this is equal to delta ct minus this average is equal to delta ct minus this average is equal to delta ct minus this average is equal to sorry minus is equal to minus this average of control equal to is equal to so we have got this delta delta ct now we have to calculate its expression that one is 2 power minus that delta delta ct value copy so here you can is equal to 2 power minus this value and then drag it now you can take the average of this one so relative expression so is equal to average yeah it's like the average okay and then take this average and now sorry copy and then take it in front of this paste it so it will automatically select these three values of and then take the average copy and then treatment this so here we have the average of that expression relative expression of our gene so this is the control this is the uh, treatment expression at treatment one and expression of treatment two so you can say here that control treatment one treatment two and here you can write the gene and here you can standard deviation and select copy paste special so here you can also calculate the standard deviation of these three value here you can again now you can make the graph lead it and here at the corner press and then you can increase the size of all that and now you can add the error bar select any bar layout error bar more options plus customize specify values select these standard deviation ok close so here this is our that gene and expression data that is in the control and these are the expression in treatment so in this way you can calculate the expression of your gene through delta delta ct method hopefully it will help you if you have any query don't forget to comment 
like and share thank you